I know most of you have extreme text problems because I hear it every fucking day on the phone. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I want to dive in and look at all the major objections that come up when you are texting, okay, when you are engaging in text messaging. These charts are included in my Leads Machine product, as you see over here, sexleadmachine.com. They are also part of the eight-week mentorship program. I am going to go through the different types of objections and how you deal with them, okay? And as you remember from one of my recent videos, I just talked about all the objections that come out in cold approach, the 14 major objections that come out in night game and in day game when you try to take a girl home, okay? And I, I was showing you that you can be trained in advance so that you know exactly what to say as soon as any of those objections come up, okay? I really like the, the Sun Tzu uh, art of war quote that the battle is won before it is fought, okay? I train my students on exactly what to text in every situation, okay? So there's no guesswork. It's literally the same exact uh, texting sequences that I'm using personally, okay? And I show in a lot of videos that I have a shit fucking ton of phone numbers in here. 13,719 contacts with phone numbers, okay? That's a lot of fucking data, and <laughs> I'm a hyper-analytical person, so you can imagine how good these sequences work, okay? So when you know in advance how to deal with those cold approach objections, and as we're gonna cover in this video, when you know how to deal with the objections that come up over text, you're going to make it a lot further along in the process and you're not going to be stumped or you know get stuck in any part of the process so before we continue if you're not yet a subscriber this channel offers straightforward no bullshit practical dating advice uh, please subscribe below if you're not a subscriber press the notification bell for new video alerts every single day also this is the last uh, week probably next week that i'm going to be taking calls personally uh, for people that want to talk about my eight-week mentorship program. They're free 30-minute calls. I'm going to have guys replacing me probably after next week. So if you want to talk to me personally, it's a free 30-minute call. Do not hesitate. Jump on that call with the link in the description. There'll be a short application form where you will basically tell me how many girls you've been with currently, where your weaknesses are, uh, what your goals are in dating, and you know a bunch of other information that's going to help me customize a game plan for how to get you to an advanced level and get you to your goals very quickly. Most guys in this program are doing one to two new girls per week, one closing one to two new girls per week and going on to do 50 to 100 girls per year. Okay. And then clients that I've taught, I've been coaching for over 10 years, clients that I've taught in the past. A lot of them have been with multiple hundred girls now. Okay. So, uh, here we are. This is the, the thing that's included, as I said, with leads machine and the eight week mentorship. It is the general objections text messaging flowchart. So as you can see, we have different categories of objections. We have what to do when they ignore. I count that as an objection. Okay, she can stall and ignore you. There's logistics objections. There are safety objections where she wants to feel uh, safe and comfortable. There's location objections, sex or hookup objections, and just other general objections. Okay, uh, we also have when she's not ready to give her phone number. And if she's still insisting on meeting in public when you try to frame her straight to the house. Okay, so the, what, the reason for why objections come up is because the girl wants to make sure she feels comfortable with you, that you're safe, that she can trust you, that she's not going to get into an awkward one-on-one -on -one situation, okay, where, where she feels weird and, or maybe the guy has these sexual expectations where the guy can become creepy or whatever. So she's trying to feel you out, okay? Objections are completely normal. They're gonna happen in almost every case, uh, both in cold approach and, and when you try to get meetups and when you try to uh, bring a girl home from dates and when you when you try to keep the girl around, et cetera. So they're, they're a very integral, integral part of the whole system, okay? So I don't give the responses here. If you want that, you can get the Leads Machine product or jump on the call with me and talk about the mentorship. Uh, the mentorship, of course, you get four calls a week, two with me personally, two with the head coach of my team, and we really uh, calibrate you and optimize any mistakes you're making to calibrate you to proper strategy as quickly as possible. Okay, so um, I have specific things that I do if she ignores once, ignores twice, and ignores three times, okay? Um, so that's a specific thing that you can do if she stalls at any part of the process. There's logistics objections. You guys have heard a lot of these, I'm sure. The girl wants to meet in her area or she wants to meet halfway. 
Okay, you don't want to do that. That's going to fuck up the, the ability to close afterwards because then you are not going to be near your house. So there's a very specific way to do that so that she's okay with coming to your area. Okay, or in extreme cases where she's hardlining about going to her area, there's specific things you can do to screen to see if she has availability to go back to her house after. If she lives with her parents or has roommates don't allow people over and she's hardlining at her place, that would be a situation where I wouldn't meet the girl. Okay. There's also the lovely uh, case where the girl wants to bring a friend or she says, I can't come without my friend or uh, you can meet me with my friends. Okay. You don't want to do that either because the friends will cock block. I've had plenty of situations for myself and for clients where the girl was full down to hook up and there was an amazing connection. But since the fucking uh, friend was there, everything got cock blocked. Okay. So there's a specific way to deal with that. Then there's safety objections. I don't feel safe. Okay. Or, or how do I know that you're not a serial killer? How do I know you're not a murderer, etc.? Uh, there's ways to deal with that. Then there are specific uh, objections having to do with hookups. Okay. The no sex. No, I should have another box up here really that says hookup objection. Um, I have three different types of ways to deal with that. All right. It, when she won't come straight to the house for a date straight to the house, I have a specific text for that. Okay. Um, when she says like, oh, I'm not that kind of girl or just so you know, we can't hook up or no sex, etc. There's a way to deal with that. Okay. Or she thinks you're just looking for, for like a one night stand or just quick sex. There's a ways to handle that. And speaking of which, when you frame the girl to come straight to the house, the specific way that I set it up, so she'll come straight to the house, which I will give you guys. Okay. Cause I've given this out on, on a different YouTube video before. So pay close attention. This is a huge value bomb. Okay. When you want the girl to come straight to the house, you're going to send the text here and I'll, okay. So you're going to send the text and I'll just write it out here on the notepad. You're going to say, do you like wine? Okay. Girl will typically reply. Yes. You're going to say, cool. We could split a bottle of wine at my new, I do APT. Okay. Stands for apartment and see how the chemistry is smiley face. Do you prefer red or white? Okay. Now what this is, is a sales decision close. Okay. And I'm going to go into the objection that comes up here, but typically the girl will say red or the girl will say white. Okay. Well, not typically about half the time. Okay. About half the time. And then in which case you'll say, cool. See you on day, whatever at time, whatever. Okay. Cause you, this, do you like wine should come up after you've already set the day and time for the date. Okay. Now, if, if the girl says, Safety objection. Okay. Or, or hook objection. I'll give you the safety one. If she gives a safety objection, you're going to say, so let's say she says, um, I don't go over to strangers houses that I don't know. Okay. This would be the you know, proper grammar here. And then you would reply objection response. You would say, LOL. I'm really laid back. Don't worry, smiley face, bring pepper spray if you're that worried, LMAO, okay? And now here's the stats. So using 10 girls down to meet up, uh, roughly five of 10 will come straight to the house by picking red or white. And keep in mind here, when you say you prefer red or white, you're not saying, do you wanna come over? You're assuming she's gonna come over and then you're asking her to pick one of those options in that frame already assuming she's coming over. So if she says red or she says white, she's already agreed to come over implicitly. Okay. So about half will agree to that. All things considered with a lot of data that I've taken. Uh, the other half, other five of, of 10 girls will object. Okay. Now, when you say this pepper spray line with this objection response, that converts two or three on average of the objectors of the five objectors in this case. So overall 70 to 80% will come straight to the house. Okay. This is, this is cool. I, I like doing this it's like fucking classroom teaching and shit. And I'm a big numbers guy and I'm a, I'm a big optimization guy. So now you can see when you run this sequence after you set the day and time for the date, now you're going to 
get about 70 to 80 percent of them to come straight to the house after you run the objection response okay it should be noted if the girl has like a, a crazy reaction or puts on some kind of hard line rule that she never does something like that okay or she's very offended that you even suggested that then i wouldn't even say the objection response because it's going to have a low probability of working and it's going to probably blow out uh the, the the chance to meet up in the first place okay if she still objects so that, that leaves another uh two or three people overall out of those 10 you can do the public date with those okay However, I found that the girl, if she's objecting, uh, even even to the after the pepper spray line, a lot of times they won't. You can do the public date, but they won't pull home, or they'll pull home and not hook up. So this works. This sequence works as a sexual screen as well. It's typically going to weed out the prude girls, okay, which also saves you time. Then, as a side note, I'm typically stacking dates one and a half hours allocated for dates straight to the house, which is what you should be doing primarily, and I am doing. Um, two and a half hours for public dates okay and i'll put up this my exponential lay count graph and it should be noted that at the steep part of the curve when i had my best year from mid 2017 to mid 2018 i had 246 new closes and that's literally when i started hardcore implementing the dates straight to the house as well as honing in on a lot of my texting okay which is uh complete in the leads machine product and also in the eight-week mentorship product okay so going back to where we were there's also location objections uh, or the girl not having transport, okay? Or uh, the girl, here's the hookup, sex hookup objections. Okay, this is a safety, this is a safety concern for coming to the house. That's what we just talked about. Okay, and then here's the sex hookup objections. You're just looking for hookup, you just want sex, I'm looking for one night stand. There's ways to deal with that. Then we have ones where they are not available. I'm currently traveling, I'm going to be traveling. Or situations like they don't drink, they don't like wine or they're not of drinking age okay now if they still insist on public when you just run the sequence that i showed you there what you're going to do is look at some considerations okay is she worth it to meet her is it worth it to meet her in public like is she hot enough like et cetera, et cetera. um other there's other factors here's the things to consider how many other dates do you have um scheduled for that night okay is she an a5 plus that's that's one of you know, it, generally you still want to do the public date if she's hot, very hot. Is it a popular time slot? Okay, what is her DTF level, which which can be judged as her general level of compliance and how on things seem to be with the information that you have. If you get a no, there's a specific set of things you should do. If you get a yes, based on these considerations, there's a specific thing to do and at an advanced level, uh, even other things to do, okay? Um, if she's not ready to give her number yet, okay, then there's certain things you can do if she still insists on not getting the number there's other things you can do and if, if you know basically continue on that path there and you can insist other things if regarding the, lo the logistics one but these are going to be very common it's very easy and this is pretty comprehensive so it's very easy when you run into these to consult my charts plug in the text and boom you got the meetup okay not to mention this is just the objections chart the other part of the fucking charts and i'll put up a little blurred out graph graphic of the other part of the of the uh the charts these are going to handle going from a match to a phone number it handles all the online game messaging it's going to handle going from a night game or a day game phone number uh or an online game phone number to a date setup and it handles every control path there it, it tells you what to do to optimize uh the show up rates so that they'll show up for the meetup so it has confirmation sequences to confirm your dates it has what to do if she cancels, reschedules, flakes. It shows you how to double and triple stack time slots, how to use your calendar and it, calendar reminders and, and calendar annotation and spreadsheets to manage all this stuff. So that's why it's called the leads machine. And that's why it's an eight-week mentorship. This will handle all the lead management portion of my system. Okay, so I wanted you to see uh, the different various major objections that come up. I'm not giving them out on purpose, but I did give you an extremely huge value nugget by going through how to set the date straight to the house and how to um, answer the objection in the, in the event that she is not comfortable going to a stranger's house straight away, okay? If you live at home or don't have your own place, there's a minor adjustment in the scripts so you can pull to the girl's house or so that you can frame a date to meet for coffee or drinks and then go to her house afterwards, okay? So I handle all cases for you. All of your online game messaging on Tinder, Bumble, Hinge is handled in this product and in the eight-week mentorship. All of your texting is handled for you, okay? I'm using the exact same scripts that I give to my clients. And as, as you saw on my phone, that's the result of 13,700 numbers, okay? These are very, 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 very optimized, okay? So 
I know most of you have extreme text problems because I hear it every fucking day on the phone. Uh, so sexleadmachine.com up here in the corner or jump on a free 30 minute call with me. It'll be the last week I'm doing calls next week where I can walk you through how I can not just solve every little piece of your text objections, but literally every piece of your entire game and very fucking quickly as efficiently, effectively, and optimized as possible. There's no BS or fluff content. There is no abstract woo nonsense, which dominates 99% of the industry, okay? I am your definitive source for the best system in the world, hands down, nothing comes close, okay? My name is being slandered all over the internet. I will have an appropriate response soon where I go through every single slander claim and defend each one in turn. Uh, but for now, I hope this was useful for you and that you got a bunch of value out of it. And really, this can be a skill game, okay? This is what it is. I mastered this the same way that I mastered poker and chess. I put 15 to 20 years of hardcore optimization devoting the vast majority of my time in my adult life to optimizing the system and making it as easy to assimilate and easy to learn as possible, okay, for all of you guys watching. So do not delay. Uh, jump on this uh, sexleadmachine.com site if you are interested in getting the full texting solution or... Uh, jump on a free 30 minute call with me if you'd like to handle it all through the mentorship because there's far more to learn beyond just the texting. Okay, but that's a good start and a good thing to fix. So thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, really appreciate all the loyal followers and loyal subscribers. And uh, please subscribe below if you're not a subscriber already. And I will see you guys for lots more value packed videos coming soon. Thank you so much. And I will see you on the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run No doubt, son, this is not just about fun We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum